What's up, everybody? Monday, March 23rd, 2020. We are uh, at the beginning of this coronavirus stuff going around. Uh, the pre-quarantine, as I'm kind of calling it. The real quarantine, or at least stage two anyways, begins on Tuesday in a lot of places. At least for us in Kansas City. It's like a one-month lockdown unless you're an essential worker. Essential worker is kind of broad. Government workers, of course, pharmacies, re- uh, drive through restaurants, I think, uh, grocery stores, gas stations, all that stuff, hardware stores. So there's still a lot of open, but yeah, quarantine. I mean, a lot of people are going to be buckled down. You guys are going to be bored looking for something to do. Here we go. I got uh, this podcast. Hopefully this will keep you entertained for a little bit. Uh, I think we bring up the uh, coronavirus for like, I don't know, for one minute. Um I'm not an expert. We don't need to talk about that. You guys are getting hammered and hammered with that. Let's keep it positive. Um, Hopefully, I can keep these podcasts going. Hopefully, we can get some guests in here. If not, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe try a couple through Skype. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We're in this together. I want to try and bring you guys uh, some entertainment, some education, some just lighthearted good times during this. I mean, you guys are probably bored looking for new stuff to do and listen to, right? So. Um, this is C.W. The Youngblood, one of my favorite local rappers. Uh, I like him. He keeps it real. He's old school gangster rap t- style. Um, don't listen to this around your mama. <laughs> um, check him out. Go stream, stream him. That's the best way he was saying, like, to support him and how he can make money is just stream his stuff. He's got 93 albums, you guys. 93 albums to choose from it's on spotify itunes all that stuff i prefer spotify myself and he's got music videos on youtube he's hilarious he's got he's just he's check him out i hope you guys like it um but yeah this was a really awesome awesome fun interview i've been wanting to talk to him for like two years now he lives in phoenix and he's visiting kansas city and came on the show um, so without any further ado, CW Youngblood, find him on Instagram it with at in love with my choppa. And that's it. Here we go, guys. Episode today see dub uh go chicken go oh shit really yep i had a wing pack with the macaroni and mashed potatoes then i got a half order of gizzards with an extra sauce gotta get the gizzards that go chicken go got to like even if you want chicken yeah you gotta go get the uh gotta get the gizzards on the side just be a fat boy you know because it's definitely like (laughs) gluttony but you, you gotta uh you got to get the gizzards. I mean, that's why you go. I mean, that's... Yeah, I, mean, I, I got this guilty pe- pleasure of the wing pack right now, though. So, I just, like, I want to eat the wings. But some in me tells me, you don't, you didn't come here for wings. You came here for the gizzards. So, I get the gizzards. They legendary for that. I'll be telling people, like, you ain't had no gizzards until you had to. People who know Go Chicken Go know about the gizzards. But if you don't know... You just... It's like a secret society. Yeah. its Yeah, it's one of those, like, local Kansas City things. Like, we, we know... We know we know what's up when it comes to go chicken. Everybody go. else might not be so lucky, but we know. Yeah, I was telling you guys earlier. Uh, the first place I moved out on my own was Wyandotte, and it wasn't that far from a go chicken go. Oh yeah, that one out there in Kansas. Mm-hmm. Okay, because uh, I I remember googling it before and seeing that they had them in Kansas. I've only been to one on Fifty First on Trues. Oh yeah, okay. But I I've never been to another go chicken go. I always wonder is it do they taste better or maybe. Do they, I don't know, is it different service? It's good everywhere. It's good everywhere. It's good everywhere? Yeah. It's <clears> always <throat> the same shitty service. S- <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on state. Yeah, it was. I believe, I think it was on state. Maybe parallel. I think state. I think it was on state. Back where that blockbuster used to be. Way back. Back before the racetrack and legends and all the, uh, 
before Johnson County started to gent- try to gentr- gentrify Wyandotte. Yeah, I don't know nothing about Kansas for real. Yeah, so you're uh, you're from we got C Dub the Young Blood. Yeah. C Dub the Young Truth. Yeah. C Dub the, the Young Trapper. Yeah, C Dub the Young Monster. Yes. C Dub the Young Legend. Um I love it. How you got so many C Dub names? Uh it started I ain't gonna lie to you. First it started from the truth. So Oh, it start, you started off as the truth? No, no, no. Oh, okay. The young truth was the first, like, secondary. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The, I'm just the truth. Uh, then the young monster came because I started doing more trappy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So okay. that's where the young monster came in. And then I just got so absurd with kind of, like, talking about, like, you know, distribution and stuff. That's when the, the young trapper came in. And then the the young legend, when I, when I reached about, like, 75 albums i was like i'm i'm a legend like no matter what no matter what happens no matter where this go and a lot of people ain't did 75 anything you know what i'm saying right they ain't had 75 nothing so to do 75 albums i'm just like i'm a legend so that's where that came from i didn't think you could be a legend until age 35 nah you can be a legend early a biggie and them didn't make it to 35 okay Two, yeah, they're in the twenty seven club, yeah. Nah. Okay. They didn't make it, so you I'll you, allow it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just I feel like you gotta be You got seventy five albums. Nah, well today I have maybe ninety three. Ninety three. Yeah. Projects. Yeah, that's what you what people like to call them. Yeah, because it because I got EPs, cause this is what I'll do. <clears throat> I'll drop an EP, right? An EP is classically like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'll drop five songs, five, six songs, and then- Was your last one, uh, Let Me Introduce You to My Kitchen? Let Me Introduce My Chick uh, to My Kitchen was six songs. So I'll do something like that, and then my following, they'll start you know, sending me messages about how rude it was to only give them, you know what I'm saying, 15 minutes. So then I'll drop another one- Really? With 20 on there. They come at you with that? Bro, I don't every time like they're like, why? You got to be only, kidding me. They, my, my, I, I really like to say the people that fuck with me, they ungrateful. Like, every, see, Dub, I'm a big fan of yours. Okay, I, I'm glad we were able to kind of kick it before we turn the mics on, have a drink, and hang out. Because I didn't want to like fanboy out all over you, but I, I've been a fan of yours for. I mean, I think you. Surely you know him by now by that question you asked me before we turned the mics on. I knew what the demonstration was. Yeah, the fact that you knew what the demonstration was. I just told him, like, you got to be tapped <coughs> into my, uh, yeah, you got to really be into my discography to even kind of even know of it. Yeah. Because, like, I looked it up. That was 2011. Hold on. Somebody FaceTime me. But right, I'm going to hit you back, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. That was Will Slap FaceTiming me. We just dropped that uh, KCFL album. We recorded it in Miami. We was out there kicking it just because the uh, Chiefs made it to the Super Bowl. Uh, so while we was out there, he was like, I would really uh, like the opportunity to do an album with you. I feel like you, he he said, I feel like you really a legend, man. So I just feel like we got to do this. So I was like, you know what? You know, you're right. C-Dub, the young legend. The, the young legend. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so I'm, like I said, I'm a fan of yours. Mm-hmm. And what I was going to say, what is awesome about being a fan of yours is how much shit you got out there. Like I'm, I'm fans of a lot of different people. I'm Alan Wayne. I love yeah. Alan Wayne. I'm yeah. a huge. I was, I was actually listening to the demonstration recently because you know he's got uh, demonstration two coming out. I was re-listening to that a bunch. I was like, man, he's a good artist. Like I love this musically. Album. He, he's talented. Like he put, he puts a song together. Mm-hmm. It's like more than just, just a simple rapping over a beat. You know, he really get busy. Like, I'm, I'm saying if it was like we was like painting a picture, his would have extra detail. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. wouldn't just be like a regular picture. So. Right. And I, so I love his shit, but he doesn't have a ton of stuff out there. Yeah. And I love your shit. And you got stuff out there. All I mean, you got, you got days of music. I got two and a half days of music, like of, uh, actually that you can actually get two and a half days. So huh. it'll take you two and a half days to run through it. So how are people going to be mad at you for putting out a fifteen minute they ungrateful. EP? They that ungrateful. is ungrateful. You know, it's like once you like it's like your girlfriend once she used to a certain thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't. You can't. She was going to Red Lobster for five years, and, and you try to take her to Denny's on y'all Red Lobster night. She's gonna be kind of upset. 
You know what I'm saying? So they they yeah. I, uh, they they want new shit all the time because that's what I've been doing for so long. I don't know what you're saying. I ain't trying to stay with no chick for five years. Oh shit, five? I ain't, like, I ain't trying to do that. I mean, I did it once. Five ain't that bad. People do five year business. Am I like if you get five years in prison, you actually ain't doing that bad. That's not a really a long time. But if I don't have to do five years in prison, <laughs> I ain't gonna do five years in prison. I'm gonna go to a nice gym. I ain't going out to the prison yard and. Doing a prison workout, <clears throat> I'm gonna spend my little ten bucks a month at Planet Fitness. Yeah, it ain't the greatest, but it's it's freedom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You take five years in prison or five years in a committed relationship? That's an easy question. Oh, that's easy. I'll take a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Give a me a woman. relationship. Yeah. I mean, not you don't want to be. <clears throat> At least there, I'm putting it in and not getting it. Oh, threatened Lord. to be, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm max. a I'm a I'm a cute skinny white guy. Now I'm not would, probably got. Now, I'm saying, but you would never end up in maximum security, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. Yeah, you wouldn't be on a level five. He wouldn't be on a level five. I don't, I don't care what you did. Okay, they'll, they'll, you'll at least be a level three. Okay. Yeah. They know what you. do I got to put up with? You're not gang banging or nothing. Now, if you take off your shirt and you got Hitler tattooed on you, you're going straight to level five. I know people, they kind of look like you. They take off their shirt. They got Hitler and, and all other type of Would you like flags. me to take my shirt off? I, no, I don't want to. I mean, that. I've. No, no. No. I, no. Would I have you guys in here if I had swastikas on mine? I don't know. People are weird. <laughs> you know. You're right. Fair enough. You know. Fair enough. I, no. Well, let me not call them weird because some people really be- believe in preserving their race. Like, it's It's crazy. No, I. Uh, well, I got. I can't hear. You. I got headphones on. It's hard to hear through here. No, I've got no swastikas. So good. I'm not going to level five. Just a level three. What do I have to look forward to at a level three? What would I have to do to get there? Uh, ACA. What's that? Armed criminal action. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just something small like that, you know. Okay. Not to say that's. Damn, I sound terrible, but uh, you ACA, don't? you really just, uh, kids do that all the time. You know what I'm saying? So that'll get you a level three. But, but you ain't going to be in level three too long. They're going to take you down to the level two, you know what I'm saying, where you got a little more freedom to walk around, watch TV all day, go to the to the lounge, watch movies. But that's enough prison talk. I don't even talk to prison. That's you don't want to talk prison? It's like what? I'm fascinated about prison. Prison, they it's just a billion-dollar company. And uh, the the people that are foolish enough to fall into it at times, you know what I'm saying? We fall into it, and and we keep the the cycle going. I, I the prison system ain't never gonna go nowhere. People are gonna continue to do bad things because they make you do bad things. They don't. They want you to keep committing crimes. Oh yeah, it's so it's much a money. Business. Private yeah. business. Jet. Prisons are ever, private. Do you know where Tipton, Missouri is? I've heard of it. Okay, it's this small town. Everybody that lives there works at the prison. Really? What a shitty it town. It feeds the whole town. Like, so if nobody's in the prison, you know, they're going to be feeding for them. So it's just, a, it's just a bunch of prison guards living in one area and their wives? <laughs> the people working in the kitchen, the nurses, the librarians. What else they got? It's a whole economy. Uh, yeah. Did I say nurses? Did we already say nurses? Yeah, yeah nurses. Uh, but you're so you're from Kansas City. Yeah, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, when I was born, uh, I lived in Seven Oaks. Anybody familiar with Seven Oaks? Then my mother, you know, stepped her game up by the time I was in first grade, and I moved to South Kansas City, and I lived off Food Lane like my whole my whole young life. So I'm from the South Side of KC. Uh, my niggas that's from there they refer to it as the hunnets a lot of people who ain't from south kansas city they like to call it grandview <laughs> but i never really gave a fuck because when people used to say oh y'all from grandview it was like it's like if somebody say hey you're a black guy you know what i'm saying you're like why do they keep saying i'm a black guy i'm clearly not black you know what I'm saying? So when people used to say Grandview, I never had a Grandview address in my life. I never went to Grandview High School. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My address was Kansas City, so I never got to Grandview stuff. When people just start saying you from somewhere that you never live, it's weird. But but it done <laughs> changed over time, though. Right. They, 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 I don't hear the... Well, South Kansas City is, is way worse than it used to be, but I don't hear the... 
people don't really poke fun at you from being out being from out south like they used to. You know. We used to make fun of it for being Yeah, because you know, in South Kansas City you got nice houses. Uh ain't nobody yeah. on the corner every night selling dope. You know what I'm saying? So it's way different from the inner city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's more discreet out there. That was the whole thing about it. Every, But as you get older, everybody realizes that. Everybody, people, it's crime. People hustle everywhere. It's just about the level that you're doing it on and the, and the cleanliness. Or of the it. type of it, yeah. Yeah, so. Well, there's criminals everywhere. Everywhere. In every, every profession is somebody crooked. Yeah, people are just crooked. Yeah. If you can get money, you're gonna get money. Yeah, we can. I mean, we got a huge population. It happens. It's gotta happen. So now you're in Arizona, Phoenix. Why are you there? How long you been there? I've been in Phoenix for about six years. Um, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I think the higher power put me there. Uh, when I was, I got out of prison when I'm like nineteen, twenty, or something like that. Uh. I'm fucking with, you know, my boys, my Cash Hill Game boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for some reason, motherfuckers, whether it was me, whether it was my partner, whether my other partner, uh, motherfuckers just always going to jail, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? Always going to jail for something. It could be something petty, it could be something serious, but motherfuckers always going to jail. Sure. So uh, I was doing music, of course. I was still doing music heavy, but... Uh, when you got out? Yeah, when I when I actually when I got out of I was doing music before I went to prison. I went to prison in the end of 2009. Before I went to prison, I was doing music. But when I went to prison, I was like, "Damn. Uh, I should have had 30 albums ready for when I'm locked up to be dropped. I don't know how long I'm going to be here." I said, "Next time I get out, I'm recording hella music just in case anything happens to me. I got a lot of content to release. Who was thinking like that back then? Man, Who's thinking was, like that now? It was me. I was like, I I feel like I was letting my people down. You know how it is to be gone and, you you know, don't nobody got nothing to remember you by? Like You got to stay relevant. Your name's yeah, got to be gotta out stay there. Re- I didn't know how long I was going to be gone. This was my first time going to prison. I didn't know uh, you can get parole. I, I didn't know. I didn't know nothing. Really, I was naive to the whole thing. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so that's how I was thinking. Like So when I got out of prison in 2010, I was only in there for like a year, damn near a year, uh, l- less that's than it? a year. That's yeah. not bad, right? Yeah, you uh, you know. I, mean, I wouldn't like it, but yeah, it was fine. It was cool. I actually can't complain too much. I got my GED in prison. Nice. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. I would have never got it. I guess, else. right? Yeah. I, I would have never got it nowhere else. So yeah. that's hella cool. Uh, but yeah, when I got out of prison, I was like, man, I got to get busy. I'm going to start getting busy. I'm going to start treating this like my girlfriend. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put, you know, you got to cater to it. You the know music? The music. Really? Yeah. So. I thought you didn't like being a rapper. I, <laughs> I, I, I hate being a rapper now. Yeah? Yeah. I How used come? to, I used to look, man, it's just like, I'm really an artist, more of a rapper. Like, I, I got a craft, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really got a, I, this is a foundation I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a whole, a whole, a whole lot of shit. Some people just be playing with it, and I don't want to be categorized with the people that don't take it serious. So that's what I say. I hate, I'm not a rapper. Uh, you know, any an artist. Any, anytime I refer, yeah, I'm just a, I'm just above the rappers. That's what I think. I'm above that. Like that's not what I do. I don't do what they do. You know what I'm saying? We both do music, but I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I mean when I say I ain't no rapper. I hate rap. You okay. Know what I'm saying I just hate the game. You know, it's watered down too. You know, you gotta you, everything gotta be a gimmick. You know, it got to be some behind it. It got to be some weird stuff to this day to, and age, like this, the, the music out now, or like yeah, it's been like that. Really, it's always got some side story that isn't related to music that kind of gets you kind of hot. Like nobody is just hot from the craft. There's some people like that, but it's always some for the for the people that it seventy five percent of the rappers. It's a story behind them that got them to where they at. That ain't music related. 
are they are they really not that good of an artist? They just got put in this position. Like I don't know, but that's mainstream though. I got a, a heavy respect for underground music, so don't get me wrong. When I'm talking about that, I'm talking about the mainstream music. But the underground scene is is brazy. You know what I'm saying? The underground scene. That's what I. That's what I appreciate in music. I fuck with anything underground. I think I like. there's a lot of artists that are underground. Well, it's more <clears throat> underground than mainstream. Right. So it's a bigger it's a bigger platform. Honestly, it's a bigger platform, but people don't know about it. The only reason you could even say the mainstream is bigger is because they got the radio and they got the kids. Whenever you got the radio, you got the kids. Oh, yeah. So the kids can really make it seem like somebody is bigger. I guess they are that big, but the kids really blow some of these people up. You know, what I'm and they're saying? not even, yeah, and they don't even know what they're talking about or anything. Yeah. They just, they just blowing them up. So they're just the eyeballs that are, they're just the clicks yeah, that are sh- clicking the website. Shout out to, shout out to kids though. Uh, uh, shout the out kids, to kids. Uh, the kids that you know are music heads. You know what I'm saying? It's kids that listen to my music. I, I tell them like you know, cut that off. But I was gonna say, are you? Are you cool? With, like, what do you think about kids listening to your music? Uh, it, it, I those that how, how about those that don't know, because a lot of people listen to this podcast that are not necessarily oh okay hip hop oh, fans or whatever. Oh, that might not be aware. Hey, and I was yeah like <clears throat> if you're not aware of me, you you definitely need to do a Google search real quick, YouTube search, whatever you use, iTunes, Spotify. Type in C W space D A space Young Blood, C W the Young Blood. I got a plethora of shit, but. Mainly, I talk about like I love it selling drugs, or I talk about shooting people. I talk about dumping your wife. I talk about taking somebody else's wife, robbing t- people. Oh, and then I talk <laughs> about robbing people or taking whatever you want. And I do want to. Hey, I do want to explain that on on the on this. Uh, <laughs> I seen you say that when Big Baby was on here. My Robin Crew. My I got the, I got the brand Robin Crew for anybody that see. I, I am selling the shirts and hoodies and whatever. Where I will try. I looked for it today. Yeah. Well, you got to get them through me. You know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, you just got to place your order. You can get whatever you want. So my Robin Crew, just for the people, because a lot of people say, "Oh, I don't want to wear that. I don't. Want, I don't want to be in public wearing something that says Robin Crew." Shit. To be honest, my Robin Crew really stands for, uh, in the essence of you taking something that somebody doesn't want to give you, whether it be an opportunity, whether it be a position, whether it be something like respect or just even some simple recognition. Uh, the Robin Crew, like that, when you're on your Robin Crew shit, you taking that respect. You, you know, you taking their attention. You grabbing them. You making them pay attention to you. You know, you forcing them to listen to you. So that's all the Robin Crew shit is. It's about taking uh, what you want, not necessarily, you know, sticking somebody up. Let me get your money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Damn. Yeah. It's deep. I uh, <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I love. I love that kind of hip hop. I like a lot of different kind of rap. But one of my, I was telling somebody today, maybe my favorite album of all time is Eight Ball and MJG coming out hard. Oh yeah, see, I don't know if Trey, would you be familiar with that? See, <clears throat> I don't listen to, I didn't listen to a lot of Memphis uh, artists when I started listening to music. That's a little. That's probably a little bit before your time. Yeah, I was born in 1990. For the people that don't know, so when I started listening to music, it was a whole different. Wasn't that 93? 94, 93, oh, yeah, see, something I like that. Have. Yeah, I started listening to uh, Rich the Factor when I really started listening to music heavy. So, so you, how did you when you first started listening? You started listening to local underground. Yeah, actually, Fat Tone. Yeah. Uh, Tech Nine. I used I used to see Tech Nine. Oh, if you're from Kansas City, yeah, just you everywhere. used to see him in his little van that was lo- that had the vinyl logo. Which one? The one with uh, Killer on the van or a different one? I'm talking. I can't remember. This I don't know. Is, I'm talking like 2000. Oh shit, that's a long time. Ago. I, don't <laughs> even, I don't even know. Oh yeah, you're. That's before. That's before he blew up. He blew up in 2000. Yeah, what I'm saying when he would drive around town, he'd have that van that was all. Decked out, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I started listening to people like them. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah pour yourself some. Uh, uh, so I listened to like I listened to like that shit 
when I when I became a music head. How did you get into the underground? Uh, like just listening to it, like uh, we was in uh, middle school and uh, people was making, you know, the blank CDs and they would put a mix CD uh, downloading stuff. Yeah, and um, that's how I got. Somebody would mix local music in with all the new stuff. So the stuff you hear, oh, on wow. the, yeah, the stuff you're on the radio, oh shit, it would be on there. But some come on, it'd be ecstasies. Uh, I come through KC so heavy or something. Or we're doing that. It'll be a Rich the Factor song in the middle of it. It'll be, you know, Fat Tone or something like that. So that's how I start listening to it. Uh, just getting mixed CDs from school and hearing these people like, oh man, I really like this. And then Tech Nine, I used to record him off the uh, Hot Day Today on the radio. Whenever his song come on, I would record it with it on the tape. So yeah. Have you done anything with him? Nah, I never did nothing with Tech Matt Nine. him or. Hung I'm out. Like, no, nah, we on some. Uh, I'm CW Young Blood. That's Tech Nine. Nah, never. Okay. I've seen him before, met him before, right. but I ain't <clears> never. <throat> we ain't never linked up. You ever try? Nah, I never even tried. Actually, I really ain't that type. If it's if it's meant to be, it's gonna be. Do you try and work with certain artists? Like, how did you get on Alan Wayne's demonstration? Well, that's my cousin. But I mean, did he just? Say, and he hey, had to, he had he asked me permission to do the demonstration. Because yours so, came out like seven years before his. Yeah. Yeah. So, nah, yeah. Uh, that's how I got on that. But working with people, uh, it's usually organic. Like uh, somebody would tell me they fuck with my, my music, and I'm like, damn, I fucks with your shit too. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's okay. work. You know what I'm saying? Kansas City kind of stuck up in, in a way the underground scene. People think they too big to work with certain people or – Hey, I keep hearing this. I keep hearing this. Like, like I hear. That's I, how it is. That's how it is. People think they're bigger than the game. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. So they don't want to work with, huh? Yeah. And then or they'll try to say something retarded, like I want fifteen hundred for a verse. Like what? Like, okay. You probably won't give any names on who these people are. Nah, I wouldn't. But I'm curious. I'd love to know who kind of the stuck up think they're bigger than they are because you might need to make a post somewhere in a group and tell the the people on the internet to tell you. They're going to tell you off the gate. Who's the stuck up artist in Kansas City? They'll tell you. Are they people they, we hey, would they know? Say, are they people most yes, people would know? It's, it's some people you would know. I can think of one. That's stuck up? Yeah. Right, right off the right off the bat, I think of uh, Mac Lethal. Is he a white boy? Yeah, I, I never. He's heard got him. a huge YouTube presence. He's, yeah, I never. I never heard him. Okay, that's. Um, and then if I were to speculate, I could speculate. I'm thinking, who do I think would be stuck up? Hmm. No. I can't think of anything. I'm really trying okay. to think. I, Have you reached out to anybody and they played you off or tried to charge you to, to do this podcast? I had uh, UBI, Ubiquitous. No, I never heard of him. Uh, he said he would do it, but he didn't. Then he just kind of blew me off. He's a strange music dude. Did I have another? Oh, Tech Nine Stray Music. He's he's one of them. He's a strange music dude. artist. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think of if I had anyone else. No, I've had some other people act like they were too big or whatever when they clearly weren't, but they were like other people, not artists. Oh, they were like different fields. A podcaster. I have I have some podcast. I have yeah. Little podcast beef here and there. <laughs> little podcast little beef. Little podcast beef. You don't like rap beef. I don't like I don't like rap. Even even though uh disclaimer, I I've won every rap battle, anything that I ever been a part of. If I had like a dispute and we had to get on wax and talk it out, I've 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 won every single time. Really? I'm undefeated. You ever do a rap battles? Nah, I never did a rap battle. Like just that's a whole other there. game, right? Yeah, it's kind of like I and then I could do it possibly because I'm I would be one of the funny battle rappers. <laughs> yeah, you know, like some like some people got it. They're like funny. Some people are like real lyrical. I would be one of the funny ones. So you you can really you can win some shit over if you're funny. 
and then you can spit. You're hilarious. Yeah, people You're tell fucking me that. hilarious. Nah, people tell me that. Do they? Yeah. They got to. They got, you got to. your lyrics crack my shit up, nah, they, man. they tell me, like, they can't <coughs> listen to me on their way to work. You know what I'm saying? It messes up their whole way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? I listen so, to you at work. Oh, man. you Have you ever clocked out and said, you know what? But you, oh, you got a different job. You can't clock out from that whenever you want to. Yeah, I clock out when as soon as I'm done, I'm done. But you ain't ever clocked out early in the middle of your shift, just like, oh, no. Forget this. No. I can't do that. I'm a responsible adult, somewhat, when I have my kids. How many kids you got? Two. Oh, shit. Six and a half and three and a half. Oh, you got some young kids. I got some. Oh, you in that real stage that, uh, oh, yeah, they need you. Do they? they? Yeah, they not. They shit. dependent on you. They shit. dependent on you. They not. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they get about 14, 13, 14, they really don't need you no more. You just like. Hey dad, can I get a hundred bucks? You know what I'm saying? They really don't need you. But uh I'm gonna be like, son, can I get a hundred bucks? <laughs> <laughs> These kids working early though, so I don't know. It's kinda different. Yeah, I'm gonna put them to work. So yeah, as I can. I'm gonna raise them on that uh on on local music though. Underground music. For real? Mm hmm I am raising them to be Kansas City through and through. Like every Whenever I have them, we're, we're always going downtown and doing shit and like doing all kinds of Kansas City stuff. What's the like, first rap album you ever had? Criss Cross. Whoa. No. Yeah, that's the first one I ever bought. Criss Cross? Criss Cross. How, what year was that? Was it I Missed the Bus? Yes. Whoa. That's actually the ad lib for the song when I said Maybe whoa. 90. <laughs> 92. And that is something that'll never, ever, ever do again. <laughs> I miss the. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's my first one that I ever purchased with my own money. Okay. Uh, the first rap that I got into was Two Live Crew. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, a young age that I probably shouldn't have gotten into Two Live Crew, but whatever. That's what our uncle's for, right? <laughs> yeah. They from the Bay? No, Miami. Two live crew. I was like, oh, fuck, damn. You don't know two live crew? Nah. I feel every rapper. I don't, listen to, I don't listen to old dudes. You don't? Nah. Why not? They're pioneers. Like, you're standing on their shoulders. Have you heard that Rich Factor song where he says, uh, you way too old to, co to come work for me, fool? What'd he say? You way too old, you can't work for me, dude. My guys is young. All of my, guys my guys is young. All of my guys get dumb, so. Richard Factor, like, he, he made me like, man, you, them old dudes, man, they got to move out the way. How old is he? He's old now. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's like, <laughs> I'm talking about I was young listening to him. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. He was probably like 30. He's probably like my age when I was listening to him. But, like, now, now you're 30. Yeah. I feel like. like so, will you. Somebody hit me the other will day. Will you look at old, listen to older shit, just kind of maybe pay homage or just kind of check out what, what nah, that my, style was like. Nah, like, nah, my catalog too big. I, I listen to myself so I can turn into just a new C-dub. When you listen to too much stuff, you kind of like implement what they doing. I listen to my own shit so I can turn into another C-dub. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that That's why my stuff keep evolving because I, I just, I, I work on what I'm already doing. I just elevate it from there. So, but I don't, I don't really listen to too much old stuff. I don't really research the rap game. Of course, I, I studied early on. I, I messed with the Notorious B.I.G., the only album he had. I, I checked out a few of the Tupac albums. Uh, but as far as really getting into, like, you know, people people was telling me how I should have been up on Wu-Tang Clan. I never heard a song from them. Uh, oh, shit. Big that's, Daddy, that's my era. That's oh, like, see, oh, my I never gosh. heard of them. I, ne I never heard nothing from them. Um, really? Nah. How about some, how about some of the Wu-Tang members nowadays? Like, um... Method Man, any of his local stuff, or Ghostface Killer. I didn't Killa. even know he was a part of Wu-Tang Clan, but I know who Method Man and Red Man is from How High. That yeah, music, nice. The, their music is trash to me, but I, I could maybe I need to take a listen. I, I, it never stuck to me. I, I can't get tell it. you one song. <clears throat> I get it. I get it. What song do they sing? If you say, what does Method Man and Red Man sing? Well, Red Man wasn't Wu-Tang. Method Man and Red Man, they, they hooked up together. Oh, I, I knew that. I saw the Wu-Tang series on Hulu. That was trash. 
Or maybe because you know the real Wu Tang. I don't know the real Wu Tang. It's so just it's it, you can me. just tell it's complete production Hollywood. Produ- you know, like produced. I tell. Like, it's just it's just it's bad acting. What? It's, it's 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 a it's a janky kind of predictable story. I watch it because it's Wu Tang. I'm ready I, for season two. I'm ready for it too. No, you don't sound too excited. I'm not. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I wanted it to be better. I wanted it to be real. I wanted it to be raw. I like. I wanted it to be gritty. Nah. I wanted it to be gritty. They, that can't be on TV. It can be. No, it can't. You got to put some. You got to dumb it down. There's a new one that just came out called Dave. It's about uh, Little Dicky. Little, I gotta watch that. It's I like good. L- Little Dicky. I, I, I'm trying to understand how did he become that dope as far as doing music. He's dope. Every time yeah. I see him bust a freestyle, I'm like, what the fuck? On Sway or whatever? Yeah, how long did it take you to do that? Like, shit. Yeah, he's, he's a genius. I he, like yeah, him. he's one of those just comedians. And he's funny as shit. Yeah, he's hilarious. If you got the his entertainment, show's good. His entertain, he's entertaining. That's what he is. He's entertaining. Yeah, he's super entertaining. Because he's not afraid to make fun of himself. And he's super smart. Super. Gotta be smart. I, he's I, brilliant. Have you? Did you see... His video, uh, Pillow Talk. I've seen a lot of his videos. I probably can't remember. The video's like 15 minutes long. It's I don't know. My favorite is the him and Chris Brown song. Oh, I feel yeah. like that was hard. <laughs> that was hard. I'm like, whose idea? I knew it was his idea because all his stuff is like that. Bro. Yeah. Dope as fuck. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. What, what are you doing in Kansas City right now? Why did you come back? Uh, Because the Barona virus, I like to call it. Barona virus? I call it. I don't, I don't I, you know, if it's just an aggressive C that I'm gonna keep using, I'm gonna replace it with a B. Ah, uh, so, uh, yes, 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 young blood, yes. Yeah. So the Barona virus, I, I seen it sweeping the nation, and I was making a joke, and I was like, you know, before we all die, I want to eat go chicken go again. <laughs> so I booked a flight. <laughs> Not to mention my homies is here, my mother is here. You know what I'm saying? It's it's never a wrong time to pull up. You know what I'm saying? And this is where I'm from. I, I got to pop up every once in a while. How often like, you come back? I come back. Ah, it depends on the year. Sometimes I might come back once a quarter. Okay. Some, sometimes I might only be here two two times a year. But I, I come back. Now, you know what the problem is? My homies, they love traveling to California. So we always end up linking up anyway. Because I'm, I'm six hours from LAX. I've never been to California. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? I'm trying to go. I don't think you're trying hard enough. Like <laughs> you're right, I'm not. <laughs> like, <laughs> have you seen a palm tree? Yeah, I've been lived in Arizona. Oh, you lived in? Uh, I did you, live you, in. You, I you, lived in Tucson, Tucson. but for okay. not long, not long. Well, that's not the the California vibe is wild though. I've no, I know. I I trust me. I it's not. I'm not saying this with pride. I'm saying it with, do with you, shame. Do you, do you travel? Uh, I tr- sort of. I was a military brat, so I traveled growing up. I'm talking up. about when you grown for your leisure. I traveled to go see my parents. They live in Michigan. That's it? Yeah, you're right. Like, you ain't had no holes in different area codes, like they say? Uh, man, I don't I'm going to pray I for you. I ain't trying to incriminate myself. Oh, I don't, I no, don't know. No, I'm just what... kidding. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've messed around when I've gone to go visit them in Michigan, sure. No, not Michigan. Somewhere you got to be... <sighs> No, uh, you know, I, 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 you ain't never just took a chick to Vegas, like, no. Oh man, I'm not living. You're not living, bro. You, hey, I'm, I'm not living. I'm, I'm gonna encourage you to. Put Now's some, the time to do it. It's fifty dollar tickets now. Get some frequent flyer miles. I would recommend. I don't know what you into. What I'm into everything. Everything, dude. Trust me, you can't scare me. Okay, I would highly recommend Miami. I didn't, I just found it. Did you been to Miami? No, I've been to World, oh, uh, World, uh, Disney World. <laughs> Dude, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Disney World. Okay, <laughs> I just discovered Miami. I, I, can't be- I can't believe this has been going on for so long. It's, really? It's a, it's a beautiful city. Are you there um, getting a break? No, nah, nah, <laughs> no, no. I got to throw some, some of these at you. No, I, I would like to get a key from Florida, though. That would be... A fresh one for sure. That's crazy if you do some shit like that. That's a bucket list thing, like even though it's illegal, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Miami is dope. 
Shout out to KC. Shout out to the Chiefs. Shout out Patty Mahomes. Yeah, I've never done one of these. Tra- I was actually thinking about. I I keep talking about it. I want to go. I want to take a trip to Vegas. You know what I want to take a trip to LA. You know what it is? It's you got to hop out there for the first time. You know what I'm saying? My should I go I, alone? Nah, the first time I went out of town anywhere, I went with Fast Lane Trey. I think that's the first time I ever went anywhere in my life. So maybe you might need one of your homies to kind of drag you out. But but when when I went out of town, I went to Vegas just on a weekend. And ever since then, I was like, oh, you got to really hop out. You got to go to different cities. You got to go breathe different air. Different air. Just you know to check it, like spend a few days there just, just to culture yourself or whatever? Yeah, I, I like to record music in other states. Like I've recorded in... I've recorded some albums in different cities just because of the vibe. You know what I'm like saying? Like a solo album, or will you reach out to like a local artist in that area and, and mainly try to hop so? On it? Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I don't really go out and look for hey, who's who's working out here. Right. Uh, even though the uh, I do got you know music relationships with a lot of people in different states all over. You know what I'm saying? So, but no, nah, I don't go to their city and record with them. I just would do my own thing. I'm I'm somewhere in a hotel. I go I go kick it all day, and then I come back to my hotel room and talk about it, or or talk about how I feel about this place, or you know what I'm saying? Or they just might have me in a good mood. Period. You know what I'm saying? And I just you know I just feel like saying a you know some some wild shit. When you're you have ninety whatever something albums out when you're doing and. A lot of your songs. Are you doing a lot of writing, or is a lot of I don't write style, no more. or I don't, like I don't write no more. Uh, we kind of I would consider it writing on Pro Tools because I, I hate calling it freestyle is kind of difficult because what I'm basically punching in. I just get on there, blah 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 blah. I stop the record. I will go back in, finish it. I'm just continuously punching in. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have a good engineer, or you got to learn how to engineer yourself. You know, to record like that. Do you engineer yourself? I engineer myself about fifty percent of the time. Other times, I got somebody else. So you like work on a certain beat until you come up with something that you like, or nah, me myself. I have as soon as I hear the beat, I'm I'm doing a song right then and there. That's why if you you I, I wish you could do a poll. If you ask anybody that got a feature from me, I did it like that day. I got the quickest turnaround because once I hear it, I got to do it asap because I I. As soon as I hear it, I like to put my reaction to it. When you hear my uh, music, that was my reaction to the beat. That's how it made me feel. That's what it made me think about. So that's what I'm putting down. I can't come back three days later and tell you, hey, this is how I felt when I <laughs> heard this the other day. Okay. So I, so I do Dude, That's quick. beautiful. Yeah. I like that. That's a yeah. beautiful thing. That's like, yeah. like true art right there. Yeah, it is. I, I listen to my shit sometimes. I don't even know where it came from. I'm like, dang, what was I doing that day? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I can think back and remember, but a lot of times I got so much music now I really can't remember a lot of songs. Like a lot of people, I, 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 yeah, I was saying there's no way you could remember. Yeah, people tag me and stuff online all day, like a crazy line I said. And I'm like, dang, what did <laughs> I say that on? I remember that sounds like me, but I'm, I'm not sure what I said that on. I probably got the last <laughs> ten albums in my brain, but if you go back in a album sixty or fifty, I might have some trouble. Do you perform live? I've I've done a few shows uh, in my lifetime. You can count on both hands how many live shows I've done at, at this point. But yeah, if somebody book me, you know what I'm saying. I'll do the show. Uh, I'm not into doing talent shows, so you won't catch me doing a show where it's 15 artists on it, open mic know? or something or yeah, something no. like that. Even if it if it's just polluted with rappers. Right, that I makes sense. Do yeah, that. who wants to do that? Yeah, I got spoiled real early by by having good shows like with radio promo and stuff like. So how'd you get on the radio? <coughs> uh, how pa- how did your shit get on the radio? I mean, that's kind of a tough sell, isn't it? Nah, Papa Willow, uh, he had it when he used to do shows. Where he was he doing the shows at? Yeah. He was doing them at some club, but every time he threw a show, he had radio promo. Like, it was a whole really? thing on the radio. This weekend at Blase Blah, we have C Dub the Young Blood, Cash Hill Gang, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So, I got spoiled early. So, if you're doing a show and you really, y- y- your graphics for your flyer ain't good, or y'all just don't got no promotional game, or I know I'm going to come to the show in the 
40 people that come because of me or only there because of me. You didn't really have no, I hate doing it. That's the worst thing ever to come do a show. I re, I did a show. Everybody there was only there because of me, but it was five other artists on the card. What are they doing here? They can't bring that one person out? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Been there, done that. Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. So you don't, but you don't, you've never thought about, or have you thought about doing like a tour or just like setting up? I thought like, about doing a tour, uh, but I, I, but isn't I, that, isn't that like a way artists make money? They, yeah, that's the way they spread themselves, but. I mean, I spread it, but that, isn't that like how you make money? Well, that could be, but you got to get booked. A lot of people, go, let me tell you this. Start getting booked. A lot of people are faking these tours. They're on like. They put their self on tour. They're not getting paid for these shows. Nobody booked them. Nobody's going to specifically see them. Right. They just put all. They sign these. They self up for all these open mics, or they pay to get on these uh, shows, and then they put out a calendar and say they're on tour. I kind of respect that though. <sighs> But it's like they're trying to get out. It's there. a like, promo. Like, like, like it's a pro. You, you it's a hustle. A, it's a grind. You're doing a promo tour, but you're not getting paid. That's what but I'm it's, but it, but if you got to start somewhere, isn't that a good way to start? Like, I I've only been in the rap game for five years, I and no one's booking me. Maybe I should go to all of these little spots. Like maybe I'll go to an open mic in Kansas City next week in Tulsa. Weekend after that, OKC, and just do like a little thing and then put it out there because a lot of shit is. So, like, you were talking about my, my studio. It looks yeah. way, probably looks better on TV than it, it does. It does, it does. Not, not, no disrespect, but it, on TV it looks phenomenal. I mean, on the YouTube it looks Right, like, It's and it's TV magic, and it, and it's, it's putting it out there like, hey, check this bad. But it's really, it's it's whatever. It's still nice, but it's not, it's not dope as fuck. But it's that perception. So if these guys are out there getting that perception, look, I'm on tour even though it is open mind, it's that perception, that Instagram mm. perception, and then maybe more people are gonna. Oh, dude, I didn't know. And, 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 I didn't know, know this dude was on that, tour. That you, like, now that you say it like that, you absolutely right. It's part of the game. Like, yeah, yeah absolutely. Like you can't. Like I understand you going. Like this motherfucker is just doing an open mic in Tulsa. Well, who the yeah. what the fuck's that? I For can do that. For the people that know. But when yeah. you put it on a flyer and be yeah. like, "Yo, check me out next week in Tulsa, Oklahoma." If it works for you, I definitely right. Uh, I salute you, but God damn it, it's it's hard. Like it's kind of corny. It is. I get it. God damn it. It's it's that's hard. Why, that's it when sucks. I say I hate rap. That's what this. Yes, what I, this is the part. That's I hate. it right there. This is the part. Like, I'm, now I'm getting. Now I'm like even. I got to fake like I'm on tour. You, for, yeah, God. I just gotta put on the facade that I'm getting booked for all these show, shows, just so everybody can say, "Hey, he's getting booked for shows. Let's listen to him now." Yeah, that sucks. That's why you hate. That's why I hate rap. rap. I love it, dude. I love this. I'm getting to learn so much more about this. This is so cool. I love this podcast. I get to talk to people, my the people that I love, and like even get more in depth views on their shit. It's yeah, fucking great. Up. Hell yeah! Is uh introduce introduce you to my kitchen? That's your latest. That's my latest EP. I really only dropped it because uh, I've been getting a lot of complaints lately that I hadn't dropped a lot of videos in the past, you know, year. Uh, side note, I stopped shooting videos because I wanted to step my game up as far as the the type of videos I was putting out. But a lot of people kept saying, he ain't shot no video or he, it's, he need to shoot a video to this song, that song. So what I did was... I, that introduced you to my kitchen for the people that know it was a song that was on uh could have bought some youtube views instead i bought a brick that's the name of the album could have bought some youtube views instead i bought a brick it's a song <laughs> on there called Int let me introduce you to my kitchen so I, I was shooting the song off there so i'm about to i'm about to i shoot the video i'm about to drop the single as a video but the song is already out i was like how can i remix this to kind of deliver it I said, well, I'll just put it out as an EP, and I'll put that same song on there, and I'll give you an extra five songs with it. That well, you I'm, put that song on there twice. You put that beat no, on there twice. The beat, but you, if you listen to the other one, it's I redid it. I know you did. Just so you know, I love. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know if I like the first or the second one more. I really God like the first way. one. I really like the first one. You know what? I but like, that second one goes hard too. You, I, you know, I like the first one. If you would have seen where I was at, you would have said right then, like, oh, you, you're one of the best to ever do it. 
I was in a grimy situation. I was in like a small ass room. It was a dude playing Madden online. <laughs> it was another dude. I don't know what he was doing. Get out of here. It was so many people in a room. You you could do that in front of them? Yeah. Oh, see, but the people I hang around, they already respect the craft. Like they already know that I'm the really people okay. I know. They say I'm they one of their favorite rappers. So really, for me to perform in front of them, it's they not love a, it. It's not a big deal. I know they. I know they gonna fuck with me. They gonna support me. Right. So uh, I, I really don't got no problem in doing it any type of environment. So if you would have seen how I recorded that, I. I did it on somebody else's MacBook Pro. I never I never recorded on it before. It was somebody's MacBook Pro. And he was like, bro, you should do a song on my laptop. We can hook it up, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, shit, let's do it. I'm about to, and I, I, I told him, I said, I'm going to show you how to do a song real quick. That's why if you listen to it, the hook is, is unorthodox. It's really me just going back. I think I, I said the same thing I said at the beginning of the song. I just ran it back. You know what I'm saying? Because I was really just kind of showing them. You just came up with that song, song, that song? On the spot. Really? It's like I was talking to the people in the room. Nobody would know this, but I'm talking to the people in the room. That's why at the beginning of the song I say, never mind the quality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Because we was in a spot. Even though. I was wondering what that meant. I was like, sounds good to me. It sounds good. I was like, is he talking about. Is he talking about. It was very unprofessional. What he's cooking up? Like, he ain't worried about the quality because he's going to make it It good? It was very unprofessional. I thought it was poor quality Coke that he was about to turn into some magic. Nah, nah, nah. You can can really put it like that. You know what I'm saying? This was definitely uh, some low grade. I I, I had some fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? Oh, don't say that. I had some fentanyl for it. It's going to turn it up. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you can't uh, say you can't joke about that. You can't joke about fentanyl, man. I don't think you should. I don't. I don't. What, what is what's killed I Mac Miller? Well, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. Killed uh killed uh Tom Petty. What the fuck? Well, don't be mixing that shit. Get it out of here. I'm talking about like this is like when I refer to my music as methamphetamine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's I'm just not, fucking I'm with not, you. you know. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Joke about whatever. Yeah. Um, is that, would you call the latest EP your best, your best work yet? Nah, my best work either has to be, uh, God Don't Listen to Fake Niggas. Can I say that? I don't know if I can Please say that. Please do. The album is called God Don't Listen to Fake Niggas. Or. I don't know why I said please do. I mean, yeah, say whatever <laughs> you want. Or, uh, could have bought some YouTube views instead of bought a brick. Them is my two favorite projects right now. Uh, mainly because of the length. You get a lot of material, and then I recorded. Uh, you want co- some more drink? Yeah, I do actually. Sorry. So the I had it down here because it was like rubbing, making, bouncing on the table, being. I recorded. Uh, could have bought some YouTube views instead. I bought a brick in L.A. Hook them up. I recorded that in L.A. and um, God don't listen to fake niggas. I just love the whole concept of it. Uh. And and then the the music on there, I think, is some of my best work. You know what I'm saying? That's that. I feel like, dang, I sound like I'm in my prime. When yeah, I listen to that. Yeah, so it's, it's a few. I'm I got I'm shooting a video for a couple off a couple more jump joints off both of them albums. Uh, you I said you got you got you're gonna go shoot a video tonight. Yeah, I'm shooting. A, uh, really, they they <clears throat> they. Are they pissed they off at you? No, like, let's go, off. motherfucker. Nah, Get off know, that stupid white boys podcast. Nah. Go, come fucking do this video. Now, nah, you know what? Uh, you know, actually, with this music, I'm young, but I'm like a veteran. Like so. Yeah, you got 90-something. Yeah, You're people, a legend. People respect. They don't. I, I ain't had nobody come to me sideways about any music business that we doing. Cause really, I'm I'm on top of my game. You ain't gonna work with nobody better. You ain't gonna work with nobody more prompt or that's more prepared or you know what I'm saying. I I really got it down. You know what I'm saying. When you do something with me, it ain't gonna be a waste of time. So <clears throat> when I'm working with people, we gotta. It, it's always positive. I ain't had a negative experience yet collabing or working with anybody. Producers are rappers, really? Because when you, I love, I love your some of your lyrics when you're saying, you know, people don't want me on their verse because I'm going to talk oh, about yeah. gang banging. Yeah, yeah, no, no. There are we talking about making crap? No, know? no. There are people that 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 you know. They're not I, cool I with that. I don't know if you're familiar with my. I got an album called uh, "If You Ain't Seen a Brick, This Ain't Your Type of Music." Yeah, yeah. So, 
I, I really that was just that I named that album that for the people who just it, you know look shit, motherfucker if you don't get my shit here it is right fucking it, it, here it, it's like the movies like some people like the movies where people are getting shot and they selling drugs and they doing all this some people like the PG thirteen you know what I'm saying right but some people want that rated R you know what I'm saying that that's what they enjoy so that's I understand yeah. if you PG thirteen you know what I'm saying and you know. Do you ever have people come up to you and maybe suggest or talk to you about, hey, maybe you could be doing better or more or be more mainstream if you didn't talk about some of this stuff so much? Early on in my career, uh, when I was young, people used to tell me the gang banging thing, like letting people know that you're a blood or... They were saying that I'm never going to go anywhere. Nobody's going to listen to that. Mm-hmm. But even back then, I was like, shit, this is this is just me. I mean, if you don't want to fuck with me, I mean, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Fuck but yeah, crazy yeah. enough, over time, it becomes the wave, like, to be in a gang or, like, the gang thing is, first of all, uh, me and my homies, we... we we was really on gang shit. We was saying gang a long time ago. Before. We was repping gang shit before now. This new gang thing, I don't even say it no more. What, the gang gang? Yeah, gang gang. <laughs> like That's actually why, why I started the Robin Crew uh, ex- extension, just to kind of separate it, because I, I don't want people to, to, to toy with the, the gang shit. It's just like it's, people yell gang, but they're not in a gang. I don't understand the concept. If you're not in a gang, what what gang are you talking about? Gang, gang. It's it's. Uh, I think it's one of those things that uh, language evolves over time, right? Yeah, it just don't mean the same thing. The yeah, word, it don't mean the gang. Don't mean. Don't mean, mean the yeah, growing up in the in the eighties and nineties, gang was a completely different thing. Now it's just like. It's you're my gonna friends. you're gonna see yeah. a, a white Johnson County chick with her with her three kids in strollers. Gang hashtag gang 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 gang. You know, that's social media. I think that's kind of one of those things. That's why. That's why people. Uh, what do I know? I don't know. That's my I'm people. I, people always, you know. And then you got the people that say gang banging is stupid. Are you an idiot? Who would? But I actually had a discussion on this. I do Facebook Live a lot. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. I don't really fuck with Facebook, but maybe. Oh I need to man, get I got a there. large. I'm uh, an Instagram kind of guy. I got a large following on there. A lot of people ask, ask me to uh, tell me I need to start a podcast. But I just don't want to do it. I look at people like you. It's a other a few other people stuff I look like, and I think y'all up here with like y'all y'all delivery and the way y'all got it set up. And I don't want to do nothing less. If I'm not gonna come hard, I don't want to do it at all. So that's why I ain't started a podcast. Really? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy, but I want to come hard. Like I want to come hard, dude. You can do it. I want to make the other people proud. Like, damn, he came through and did. I don't want to just do anything. I don't want to just set up in my kitchen or. In my living room. And just, yeah, you want to do it right. Like, I want to it's kind of like right. I did. Not, not, not that be whatever, like, but kind of like what I did. I'm going hard. Yeah, you're going hard. You came, you came out swinging. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You didn't, you wasn't crawling. It seemed like you came out when I tapped mm-hmm. into you. You was already swinging. I, I've been swinging since day one. Yeah, so it's kind of one of those. Hey, take me seriously. Yeah, like I'm not gonna have my phone in front of a fucking table and talk to somebody with that recording. Like I'm gonna do this shit right. Because I want people like C.W. Youngblood on here. Oh man, you you definitely one of the uh, out of the three podcasts I got booked for this. This was my favorite. I was this oh the shit. One I wanted to do. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. Damn, I was I I couldn't believe that you hit me up on. Uh, yeah, I, I, I seen. Like, Damn, uh, he, I seen Big Baby. He uh, reached out to me. I was like, holy shit. Yeah, I seen you bring me up with Big Baby. And then I they, brought you up with Alan Wayne both times. I brought you up two years ago with Alan Wayne. Yeah, I seen that too. I brought, and then last time he was in here, I was like, and he mentioned, he goes, he's like, man, he goes, C Dub's going for the Guinness Book of World Records. Oh yeah, the Guinness Book of World Records. I was like, albums. for what? He goes for albums. I was like, God, oh, that's right. I can't believe he's got just a ridiculous amount of albums. Yeah, you're gonna be here a while, fucking with me, man. Like, if you don't, if you like one of those people who can't consume a lot of music, I'm not the one because I'm. 
you gonna have to really. I'm like the I'm like the Chiefs. You know, like in the football season, you got to tap in every Sunday. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. gotta you gotta tap in every Sunday for a couple hours to check them out. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm coming. The most I ever dropped in a year is like twelve. Twelve, yeah. It was, I might have did fifteen. That's about eight one years year. ago. Eight years ago, I think. Yeah, I, did, I dropped one ever, but I think I dropped fifteen one year. <laughs> 2012, I think. Whenever I dropped blood one through ten, I don't know how many I did, but in that time frame, and I was dropping other albums, I think I dropped like 14 albums that year. That put me ahead of the game too. That that's the cheat code too. I got uh five cooker musics. I got cooker music one, two, three, four, and five. I got fuck the radio one, two, three, four, and five. I got a uh, what else did I do a series? No, it's that. From what, from what I'm guessing, you, you started doing that because, hey, I might get locked up and my stuff needs to be out there. Yeah. That's well, how it started? That's how that's how the drive started. Like, man, I'm never going to be in a position where I, I go away and I'm like, damn, I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do. So I'm all, I, I, everything I wanted to do is done. So now what is the mentality? Because I, cause there are those different trains of thought of... Oh, right now I'm. Fi- I, I, do I need to do I need to be so prolific? Do I need to have so much out there, or should I make one album a year or two to make people thirsty for I'm, it? Uh, like, I, I feed my people. The people that fuck with me, I'm gonna feed you. That's what it's about. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna steer you wrong. You know, every time you tap in, hey, I get this question a lot. When, when, when your new joint coming out? And most of the time, I'm telling you next week, <laughs> right? Like really, I, my newest album drops next Friday. How many are you gonna put out this year? I don't. I ain't know. I'm, I'm, you don't know. I'm, you're just doing. I, as, I'm going to 200. Then I'm gonna retire. So I'm gonna do 200 albums. You're gonna retire? Yeah. I'm gonna no, retire. you're not. I might do the Jay Z retire though. You know, you pop come up. back. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show them why you, a, <laughs> you know, a legend. You know what I'm saying? Why would you retire? Well, is is it that mentality of because I'm old and the, and the no, old all good thing? things must come to an end, except for your wife. If you if you ever get married, that doesn't have to come to an end. But all good things must come to you're an end. You're kind of a sweet. You're kind of sweet on. Uh, you got a woman. I got a girl right now at the, at the current time. Yes, I'm like uh, <clears throat> I'm like four years in. Um, R- real with gr- does she listen to your music? <clears throat> She complained the other day that when she pressed shuffle on her a- Apple Music, I'm every other song because I have that much content. <laughs> like she says, and I got in the car with her one day like, God damn, every other song really is me. Yeah, she listens to my music. What, does she ever, she's like, oh, that's just part of the art or like. Yeah, she understands where I'm coming from because I talk to her. Does she laugh at it? or? Yeah, she, I talk to her about my life and. Or what I think about certain things, you know what I'm saying? That it, it's, all this stuff necessarily don't gotta be. Because that's some of the shit that cracks me up the most. Like, like I said, the coming out hard, that's all about pimping. <laughs> that that that's mem that that's Memphis pimping. That's some like, yeah, it, it, hardcore shit against some women. And I'm, you know, I'm not woke. I don't care. Ain't nobody gonna cancel me. You can't cancel <laughs> me, bitch. I'm all about like I I like. I like that old school hard rap against like yeah fuck you bitch. Nah yeah I I, <laughs> I, I, I you know excuse my French, I believe that like you're the hardest, hardest thing moving. You know what I'm saying? You're the best thing going. It's, that's what when you listen to my music, that's how I want you to feel. Yeah. You're the best thing. Nobody can fuck with you. Nobody yeah. like it's it's a million. Other like, it wasn't a business meeting, bitch. I was out cheating. <laughs> I love that shit. Did like, you I hear w- that line I said? Uh, uh, I said, uh, my girl asked me where I've been. I said, a business meeting. Uh, but you know, a lie, fool. I'm out here cheating. What yeah. did I say? Yeah. yeah, that's basically, I think that's what it was. <clears throat> Have you ever lied to a girl and, and told her you were somewhere doing business, but you was really somewhere <laughs> else? Yeah, and I had an iron thrown at me when I got back home. <laughs> that's where... Um, <laughs> That's where I'm coming from. Like <laughs> yeah. everybody's been there. Mm-hmm. Everybody's lied about, you know, <clears throat> huh. not being in a hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then they somebody busts out a text message or a picture. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I just I didn't know if maybe you got flack for that from, nah, from, nah, your, she, from your lady. Nah, she understands. It's it's just the art, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I'm doing movies, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I'm doing movies, man. It's, it's all like art. 
artistic whatever like our artistic purposes yeah, this like is, I'm not really <laughs> dropping the dime on myself. This is just for our artistic rap P- purposes, promotional purposes yeah. only, or uh, with entertainment purposes. Yeah, I would encourage people don't do what I'd be saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told my my mom is hilarious. I I called her up. I go, hey mom, I was because I was super excited that you hit me up and wanted to be on the show. And yeah, I, hey mom, check this out. I go, I got a guest coming on. I go, his name C Dub the Young Blood. I go, and he talks about. Making crack and selling yeah. it, shooting, shooting his Uzi and robbing people. She's like, "Are you crazy? You're gonna have him in your house." I'm like, yeah, it's fine. He's it's fine. fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I, I, you got it. If you haven't tapped in, you gotta tap in. <clears throat> this shit is next level. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know you. I don't. It ain't nobody doing what I'm doing right now. So if you want the, the, this particular thing, yeah, you gotta come here. I would say that it is. I can't think of nobody doing what I'm doing. I can't either. Okay, that's that's going hard like that. Like that's that? not like, like especially this day and age with cancel culture. Yeah. Like liberal San Francisco type people would hate the lyrics that you're spitting. They would absolutely shit a brick. Like, not the kind we're talking about. You know what I mean? Like they would freak the fuck out. And you're doing it, and and you got people loving it. Like I, I, it's some of my favorite shit. <laughs> I mean, but uh, uh, but there's a want for that. Yeah, it, you know, it's, I, it's a major want for it. Like I didn't even know when I originally started doing this music. I was just doing it for my homies, or <laughs> this is the type of shit we into. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We into shooting people. Like you know, I, I really, if we have to, we would shoot somebody. Like yeah, that's what we into. Like. So that's what we like listening to. So that's what I originally started doing it for. And then um, <clears throat> people start gravitating it. I got people in Brazil. They don't even. Really? They don't even speak English, I don't think. I don't know what they speak. Portuguese. In. Yeah, but they they listen to my music tough. They like the younger C-dub. Uh, I, Cause I I got like way. I got so much music. You can be stuck in like this three year period of me. And right. I've already moved on up here, but right, you're right. still on this this young C, right. younger C dub. But uh, yeah, I, I got I got people that fuck with me in Brazil. Uh, tough. Uh, I look at my you know analytics from Spotify, iTunes, right. and all that. You can see Canada surprisingly in Brazil. I don't know what's going on. They love the trap shit. I got a song called uh, "They Trapping Ain't Dead." I, it's did about a million streams. Like damn. Yeah, they say they say that trapping shit dead. I think that's what they call it's called. Or they some about they say trapping dead. I got a song called yeah. I don't know. It's on Blood One. It's just called Blood. It's not called Blood One, but it's on the <laughs> album Blood. You got so many songs you don't even know. I don't know no more. I got that's so crazy. I got about I damn they calculated how many songs I got. I think I had like seventeen hundred or something. Who's got more than you? Do you know? Have you looked? Rich the Factor. Rich the Factor is close. We like he. He's ah oh man. I don't know at this point though, I, cause I have Rich got me. Rich gotta have like one forty. He got like a hundred and forty albums. Like, damn. Rich the Factor. You know that's where I get. That's where I kind of get it from. I get like my work ethic from Lil Wayne, uh, Rich the Factor. Um, I was gonna say somebody else. Oh, and Gucci Mane. And then I want to give an honorable mention to Messi Moore. I fucks with Messi Moore. They work ethic is crazy. Like you'll never. They never had a when they're really doing music. You never got one album in a year. Never. When they doing music, one album like what? Two albums? What? Nah. How are you making your money with this? Is it is it streams? Is yeah, that I get streams. Is get... that the best way to? Like, like if you want people to support you, like, what's the best way people can support you? The best way people can support me, yeah, is stream my music uh, and tell somebody else about me. You know yeah, streaming, saying? like, Cause, that, cause that, that's where it's all at now. About, about me, they're going to go stream me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's the best thing you can do to support me, is stream any of my latest shit, or any of my old shit. You can go back to my old shit. And, uh, I can't tell you how many times I've brought you up on the podcast. Oh, <laughs> I've brought it up so many times, I, it's insane. You know, I, I I can see that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know. I don't think nobody could argue with that. I got some I got some valid 
uh, situations where I should be brought up. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. feel like, because I, I feel, like I said, I feel like I'm the hardest doing it. You know what I'm saying? The best. Yeah, I, it, it's it's got it's got new music, kind of mixed with like the old style of like. Yeah, somebody uh, somebody from Indianapolis was uh, tapping in with me, let me know how much they fuck with my shit, and they were saying uh, that they feel like I rap slow. It was so crazy the other day. Maybe for like Kansas City style. Yeah, I'm, I was know? like, I think that's some Kansas. I was like, bro, I think Kansas that- City is real chopperish. Yeah, I don't. We're not rapping all fast. I, shit. I like I like some like chopper. Like rap, raps fast, of course. Yeah, but, but I mean, there's some good choppers out there, but <laughs> I don't know. I think a lot of people do it just just to kind of. Try to impress people. I got a song think how called, fast that can be. I got a song called "This What a Chopper Sound Like" <laughs> with Alan Wayne. That's he what, can chop. That's what I did it for. I said I'm about to try to. I still don't fuck with him, but I, I was rapping fast. I got a song called uh, "That's What a Chopper Sound Like." Yeah, or "This What a Chopper Sound Like." I can't remember. It's on. Uh, I ain't turning how my mama wanted that album. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's a straight chopper. I, I yeah. Yeah, he's one of the best to do it. He you was had one, brought up the fact that he was on a Tech Nine album. He's been on a couple Tech yep. Nine albums. He doesn't um, really like bringing that up. He kind of. I guess you don't want to lean on that, but yeah. his verse on "It Was an Accident" was one of his best verse ever. You think you so? Know? What? I got so many. I don't know. I I. When he was talking about, uh. I was just trying to show them that I wasn't soft. I stayed off 82nd Street, so that's why all these niggas stopped. And they was from Hilltop where niggas pill pop. So I'm headed out to the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, it was so hard because I can relate to that. People thinking because you from some area or you, you're not from where they from, you 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 ain't hard or like you ain't with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I love that line. So when he said I got you. about being off 82nd Street and the people from Hilltop thought he was you know, a punk or something. Okay. I, that, That's why you like it. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, <laughs> hey, you, you really got to, some of these artists, you got to listen to what they saying. Yeah. They saying some shit in there that if you go ask them, like, hey, what did this line mean? And they tell you, I'm like, whoa, okay. That's deep. Yeah. But I already knew that because I know him. Right. And then I know that situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm very, I'm very familiar with that. Nice. So, yeah. That was, I don't, I don't know. If somebody do a top ten of his verses, that's that's got to be in the top five. He needs to. I put it in there for he sure. He got to appreciate it. He got to. Oh well, sorry it was on Tech Nine's album. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. yeah, I'm sorry that you know you don't want to shine too much light on that, but yeah, you you did your thing. I was so proud of him when he did that. I bet. I was proud of him when he made it to. Uh, he made it to. You know, he was on making a band back in the day when P Diddy did it. No. Yeah, he was on my No, he band. wasn't. He was in it like the preliminary how, rounds. How he was he on not MTV. Tell me that. He was young, like D A B A N D the band. Well, that yeah. one way back then, like way back then. He was on making the band. He didn't make it too far, but he was on MTV. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the that same was story with Riff Raff. Riff Raff was on there. Riff Raff was on the first episode of From G's to Gents. I don't even know what that is. Do you know? I know who Riff Raff is. Though. Farnsworth, Bentley, Bentley. Yeah, that was, oh that show. I His remember show, that show. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I he got had it. a show where he was taking like goons from like you, you know all, from whatever projects all over the country, taking like some of these dudes were like straight goons and trying to turn them from just straight thugs into gentlemen. And Riff Raff was like on the very first episode, and they kicked him off for some reason. Damn. Yeah, but yeah, he 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 had a little slight cameo. Oh, cool! On making a band, and I I looked up, I, I really looked up to him though when I was growing up because the, some of the power moves he had, like he he had like a the the prodigy t shirts because he used to just be called prodigy. He yep. wasn't Alan Wayne, so he was just prodigy. He had the prodigy t shirts with the orchestrated music on the back. I thought that was hard. You know what I'm saying? I never knew nobody with their own t shirt. You know what I'm saying? So he had and his now own t shirt. Oh yeah, now how can we get? A Robin Crew. Can anybody get one? All of them right now are made to order, so you could just got to get with me and place an order. Uh, hit me up on social media. You can just Google me and find me. on every. I'm on everything in the world. You're kind of hard to find. No, you got to spell it right. You got to C period W no, you don't period. Gotta do you know? Well, to get the... I don't know sometimes, but if you put in Google CW, the Youngblood, if you get anywhere, you can put in CW Youngblood down there. It's going to pop up. 
The only other person that may pop up when you try to find me is C.W. McCall or somebody. McCall or I don't know who the fuck that is. Never heard C. of C.W. McCall. He, huh? He put, you seen it? Yeah, like who is that? <laughs> I accidentally clicked on C.W. McCall. I don't know who this is. This is not what I was looking for. What does he do? Man. Who cares? He ain't a fucking I ain't badass lie, rapper. I never, I never press play. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, he, oh, he's a rapper? Nah, he might be a singer or something. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Might be a singer, but he's an artist. Yeah, he's an artist. Jeez. <laughs> I don't want to keep you too long, man. I know you got to go good. We were smoking at a gelato just for everybody. Like, why is he coughing? We, was, damn, we got <clears> Corona. I just tell the people we got Corona. We got the Corona. I call baby. it Corona. We got. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. We got corona the Corona. Um. Yeah, this was a badass, dude. I I appreciate you. No, I appreciate you having me. This was bad. Yeah, this was. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, if you want, uh, you can have some time here to kind of say whatever you like. How people can find you? I don't know, uh, like what you got coming up? Like, I'm like, let me see. Uh, first of all, if you're not following me on social media, get with me on Instagram. My name is In Love with My Chopper. Did you bring a chopper? Can we take a picture with your chopper? <laughs> Sorry, I, 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 I don't know if you. I, we can if you want to. Hell yeah. I don't think we should do that. But uh Yeah, we should. My name on Twitter is like your boy CW. Uh Facebook, I'm CW Youngblood. YouTube, I'm C dot Young Blood. Really, if you type in my name on YouTube, they they got that artist stuff under control. It doesn't matter if okay. you accidentally click on the wrong name, you're gonna get back to my page. YouTube don't play that. They don't want you you're not gonna accidentally listen to somebody you wasn't looking you for. You getting paid on YouTube at all? I get paid for YouTube. YouTube, Spotify, stream. I get paid for everything. I just great. got a I got Dude, a rap check. Yeah. I got a rap check for tape uh today for a thirty day period for one album. I can't I gotta look at the Excel spreadsheet, but I made sixty two dollars in thirty days. Hell so yeah. You do the math. I got ninety of them or ninety something. You do the math. Damn. Yeah, that's how I'm bumming. You know what I'm saying? That's how I do it. That's the that's the that's my little cheat code. Yeah. Even if I'm not if I'm not doing a million, when you take all my stuff, I'm doing a million. You know what I'm saying? It's hard so to do a million stuff. on one song when you have ninety three albums. Well, they that hard. I almost got my first million on a song. Well, I I, I did. I got. I think I got a million streaming. I got cross a song platform with, or whatever. If you add them all up. Not, no, I'm talking about one song. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. If you I take the songs from all the platforms, like. A bunch no, I'm talking about on one platform, oh, like shit. on YouTube. If you go, if you go look at my highest song, it's at 900k. Oh shit! Yeah, but Dang. streaming, it's hard for you to see it. But I got a song with the Jacka called uh, "They Dying Soon." It's doing. It's been doing phenomenal for like two years. It's crazy. I'm on a whole bunch of Pandora playlists. Like if you listen to Mozzie, you're gonna hear me. Mm -hmm. If you listen to Al Pacino, I'm on a few people's playlists. They mix that song in, yeah. so I get a lot of good feedback from oh, that nice. song. Like yeah, yeah. You could be in a random place and hear that song depending on whose playlist they listening to. If they into the mob music, you know what I'm saying. I call right. that mob music. So call it mob, not trap. No, nah, not trap. No, nah, that's that's mob music. Trap is like. Trap is a different. That's my music. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't know who those other guys are. Oh, you don't know who the Jack is? Nope. The mob figures? Uh -uh. He's from California though. Or I don't know if you listen to a lot of the uh, underground California artists. But you got so be... many of them. There's so many. No. Yeah. So, oh, let me ask you something. So, I, I just want to understand. Like, I like to ask people from time to time who are. Do you listen to a lot of local artists? Yeah. So who are 10 people you would uh, suggest ten? that people listen to? Do you have 10 or do you have like five? Is it a small list? I would. I, I say you a lot. I say Alan Wayne. I say Shevin. Shevin. You're not going to know him. He's a white dude. He's fairly new. He's only been out for a couple of years. I'm just saying I don't think you're probably hip to him. Um, Suli 4Q. Suli 4Q. I like Suli 4Q. I just don't like the fact that. He followed me on Instagram. I thought we was fucking with each other. Then he unfollowed me. It was weird. I and then I, I see what people do on Instagram. You just go follow a whole bunch of people that following you. They fucking with, didn't you unfollow them to make it seem like they're a fan? I hate. I it. don't do that shit. People do that. People. And are, I understand doing it to the regular people, but y'all stumbling upon artists and doing it. And like I'm not. I can't imagine Suey did that to you. Nah, he definitely did. That's the dude who has the real clothing yeah, line? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I actually shouted out his clothing line 
Oh, no, God don't listen to fake niggas. He probably never caught it. This was before he unfollowed me on Instagram. <laughs> you know, I like saying? him a lot. Uh, He's dope, though. Unique in influence. You won't know them. Damn, there's some people I don't know. Uh, Casey Young Boss. I've heard of him. I ain't got to tap into his music like that. I've heard of him. He uh, His album ain't came across. Ain't nobody been like, bro, you got to listen to this. Or I never got in nobody's car. Sometimes you got to get put on to people. It's hard to really. I would put, I, I, I put a lot of people on him. I really like, I like him a lot. Um, <clears throat> the Popper, of course. Rich oh, Factor, the OG. of course. Oh, Rich the Factor is the, he's the he's the greatest to ever. Marley play. Young. Uh, oh, you fuck with Marley Young? I fuck with Marley Young. I, I like, I just, uh. Met Marley Young around this time last year okay. for the first time. I've been new about him. Well, he's a cool dude. He he's he's very artistic. I yeah. I like the fact he don't really sound like he's from Kansas City. He's yeah. like some whole next level shit. Uh, let's see who I was gonna say. You know, I'm gonna leave a ton of people out. Of course, then that's no no scope. He's yeah. from Chicago, but he's been here since high school. Oh, he don't count then. He's from Chicago. He's, but I think he started rapping and stuff here. But he's no smoke. No, what did you no, say his no, name is? no scope. No scope. I just had him on a. Co- I've had him on a couple times. He's, he's. Is there a meaning behind his name? Uh, yes. He used to play Call of Duty Black Ops. I think and uh-huh. he would sometimes like no scope people with his sniper rifle. Oh. And I think that's where he got it from. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? He said he's weak. He did. It's funny. <laughs> I, th- I thought it was. I knew it was something with not having a. I, I thought that was fly, <clears throat> but as soon as you go to the Call of Duty route, it's like messes up the story. Shit, sorry. Uh, there's this dude named Lou Rip. Damn, man. Lucid flows. So you did this. You did this on Big Babies too. You was kind of telling him about people, and I'll, I'll try to go back and listen to a couple of them. So I got to do that. I yeah. Listen to these people. Uh, cause I like to be, say I'm the most woke person on the Kansas City. I know who everybody. There's is. so many of them. That's God the thing. Damn. There are so fucking many. Every, this day and age, because you can go get one of these fucking Apple I, these apples right here. Get Pro Tools or get GarageBand and and a thirty dollar mic if you want. You can be a rapper. Like it don't take that much. You can b- get yourself some free beats off YouTube. And there's so many rappers now. It's just it's the ease of access that's out there. So there's so many rappers out there, but there are some good ones. You got to sift through a lot of shit, but you, you can find sift some good ones. A lot of shit. Dominico, he's a good one. Uh, Sevens Fuego. Uh, I've seen him before. Yeah, there's just the album I just did with Will uh, Kid, the KCFL album. He really opened me up to a lot of new artists. It was a bunch. JLB of- Hood. He's with Strange Music? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of him. I ain't really listened to his music, but I've I've definitely heard of him. He's good, man. Yeah. He's good. I gotta check Guess him out. Guess um Etho Escobar does stuff with him. Etho, uh, I, I got I got a couple songs with Etho. Oh, you do? Yeah, he's on uh Have I not heard those? You niggas still cannot rap better than me. He's on there. And then I'm on some of his stuff, but that's the only song album of mine that okay. he's on. If you go listen, it might be Ransom Part 2, but I think it's You Niggas Still Cannot Rap Better Than Me. Uh, he's on that album. Yeah, so those are, I think I probably named 10. Yeah, that's a good, now nah, you you definitely you did a quick 9, 10. That was good enough. Yeah, it's hard to do right off the top of your head, but yeah, dude, I, I love like I love Kansas City hip hop. I love Kansas City rap. Like nah, that's, that's what's up. I was I was trying to figure out how you know. How I'm not I'm not going. posing, man. I'm not a faker. Nah, yeah, thank <laughs> I'm into you. This shit. Thank you. At, at least you really listen. A lot of people come up to me. I no, think, no, I, listen, I don't man. think that uh, some people they don't either. you don't listen, dude. Stop playing. You've heard one song, then you just try to. I don't know. I'm trying to clout chase. You know, well, clout yeah. chasing is different. Than, what you think about cloud chasing? I'm not about it. I think it's kind of silly. I'm not going to do Has it. Has somebody ever tried to cloud chase off you? Has somebody ever? I don't have any clout, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cloud, I mean, hey, and, and you know what the thing is? <laughs> I'm, 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 no I'm, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> Whenever you just, like, you got to manifest stuff, too, like. You know how I feel like your shit is the hardest. Like you, out of the, all the podcasts, I was like, this is the one I want to do. I am the hardest podcast. I am the best podcast in Kansas City. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I am. Talk that shit. I am. I, I, I've talked it before. I've said it many <laughs> times. I was nominated in the pitch. 
I didn't win. I call shenanigans. The bullshit happened, but I am. How I, did you not win in the pitch? I think I voted for you. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Hell I think yeah. I, for, I think I voted for you on the pitch. Um, you could have voted. We was voting online, wasn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I voted for you twice. Thanks, thanks, man. Twice. Shit, yeah. Um, I called before the winners even got announced. Like, when the nominations got announced, I said, oh, these people are going to win. They had four. It's like the they inside. had fourteen episodes out. Fourteen. Yeah, they've had not. They're brand new, but they've got they got. I, th- I don't know. They've got something behind them to like. I, I, I uh, huh? Who is it? It's called State Your Line. State Your Line podcast. You heard they're, of it? No, he ain't heard, heard of it. it. No, he ain't heard of it because it sucks. It <laughs> sucks. It's a shitty podcast. I'm not gonna lie. It's and they won the fuck. award. And they won. Yeah, but oh, they've shit. got like a big social media presence. They're pimp. They know how to do the game. I don't know how to do the game, man. I just I, I shit, love hey, the podcast. Sh- no, nah, your shit is organic though. Like that's what it is. I just now nah, your shit is organic. It ain't really no gimmick to it. I, I it's just so, it's shit. just it's just me hanging out with someone who I generally want to hang out with and talk to and learn from or laugh with. Hold on. So have you um have you did this podcast and get somebody? You like oh yeah, I don't like him. I don't want you. Don't gotta say who. What do you mean? Oh, me that I don't like them. Yeah, you did it. You met him. Like I don't really like him. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't what I thought. Sure. I mean, I have episodes where I'm like, uh, that was a lot of work. I had to do a lot of work to make that podcast good. Like I had Damn. to. Damn. Um, and there's people. Uh, fuck. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. 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 There's a few times maybe early on in my career where people would rappers are hungry yeah and there's some rappers would be like hey i need to get on a platform hey i want to come on to your podcast and i'd say yes and i didn't really check their shit out oh shit and i come on afterwards i'm like oh fuck oh fuck so i i ain't feeling like i don't feel their music but i'm i'm cool with them and i'll try to research people now before they if they reach out to you so if somebody just wants to get on your podcast randomly can they just hit you up and hit me up but i'm gonna check your shit out okay see if they worth it yeah see if yeah yeah see if not not necessarily even worth it if like you can be i'm an instagram guy if if you got a hundred followers i'll it doesn't matter to me i want to check out what you have to say and what you have to say I don't care. I, I like I said. I'm not clout chasing. I'm not. I don't need somebody that's got twenty thousand followers. Like if you, I just want to talk to real people that's got something cool to say. That's what's up. Like I've had. Do you know who Sean Edwards is? No. Fox Four movie critic, black dude. Yeah, I think I seen him growing up. I just had him on. Uh, I did a live podcast event. Oh, I, I gotta did, watch I, that. Is I, it on I YouTube? Don't, I don't have it out yet. Oh shit. I ju- I was selling tickets. I did it at a at a place where I had uh I had two stand up comedians. They each performed 20 minutes. Then I did like an hour long podcast with Sean Evans. And then I had some rappers you perform afterwards. You did it where like people were just live in the crowd watching you do the podcast? Mm-hmm. See, that's next level. That That's dope. Dude, no, no. This is next level beyond that. I had two stand up comedians do a stand up set. They each did 20 minutes of material. Then I sat down on stage with Sean Edwards and did an hour long podcast. And then I had two different hip hop acts perform. And these were legit, good, good real, shows. Like, like, yeah, people who I put my name behind. Wow, that that's just uh, now that's a that's a good look for a show. Yeah, Damn. I'm trying to do some. I'm trying to do shit like that. I'm trying to get my name out there. I'm trying to put on people. Not only do I listen to local hip hop, but I support it. I support the local artists. I want to put them. I want them. I want you on my podcast because I love your music, and I want my people to know. Check him out. Like I like I want to support you. I want to support Alan Wayne. I want to support Lucid <laughs> Flows, Lou Rip. I want to support these people. I want people to check them out. And then when I do a show, come check out these amazing artists. Like, check them out. There's some amazing artists that aren't getting seen. Exactly. There, there's just too many of them. <clears throat> and I'm filtering out. I'm filtering out who the shitty artists are. And like, if I'm promoting these people, <laughs> like, yo, check these people out. These are like legit shit. That's Neander Talk podcast on that level. Yeah, I, I appreciate you fucking with the underdogs, man. I'm an underdog, and I like I I understand that you guys are working super hard, and there's so many out there. Like, I feel bad for musicians because it's it's just, <coughs> it's hard out there for you guys. Like, how do you do it? It's a, a self motivation is the key. I tell people that 
self-motivation you gotta want it like okay. you really gotta want it yourself you gotta want to be at a certain position like if you don't want it you're not gonna be able to give it to nobody you know what i'm saying so self-motivation is the key that's the only thing that's gonna make you if you ask anybody who, who been doing it for a while or they got a you know they got a good body of work you can tell they're not really lazy with it they would tell you it's a lot of like you know, you got to motivate yourself to do this shit because it comes to the point where the people around you may not give a fuck as much or, you know what I'm saying, you might feel like a lot enough people ain't listening. So self-motivation. How do you know. stay self-motivated? Uh, passion? Yeah, like passion. You got to, uh, what I do is I go back and listen to some of my content and just kind of respect your own content. Uh, You've been saying that a couple of times. You do just listen primarily to your own stuff? Probably 75% of the time, I'm listening to my own shit. I'm listening to my new shit that I'm about to put out. Do I need to be doing that? Do I need to be listening to more of my stuff? Uh, I don't. I really don't know the game with podcasts, and I don't know if you kind of from like, an artist perspective. I, I'm doing. I'm not doing the same thing as you, but I am. Like I'm putting content out there, and it's you. You uh, shit. You you de- you you got a good. You got a wide selection of people that you bring on here. I'll be seeing the, the yeah. guests that you have, and you ain't sticking to one lane. Like, right. So I, I think you shooting everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah, you shooting everywhere. So you gonna hit something. I'm trying to shoot my shot, man. Hey, you gonna hit something. You know what That's I'm what saying? it's about. I'm I'm saying that today. What's today? Was it March? Uh, I don't know. March nineteenth. It's March nineteenth, two thousand twenty. You gonna hit something? Yes. Whenever you just sitting back, like you know what I'm saying. Just remember, I said. You gonna hit something, CW you Young Blood. You gonna hit something, dude. Thank you so much for being here. No, I appreciate you having me. This was real. Can I get a fist bump from you? This was this was this everything I hoped it would be. Yeah, for sure. We're All right, about some good shit, man. Hey, like like uh, you fun. Like I said, everybody tap in with my new shit. Tap in with my old shit. You know what I'm saying? Just tap uh, if, you, in. if you want to do some uh, just real research, you can just start back early. Just just go back to a random year. If if anybody want to start anywhere, start at eight ounces. If you don't want to go back too far, start at eight it's ounces. It's a half and pound, kill. fellas. I was talking about, uh, well. Do, oh, I know. Are they, do they have liquid pounds? Liquid pounds are liquid. Can a pound be liquid? Yeah. It can? You can have a pound of liquid? Sure, why not? I'm saying, but it's not referred to as a pound, is it? I don't know. I know a gallon's eight pounds. I don't think liquids can be. Gallon of what? I mean, a liquid what? Anything. For a pound? Yeah. What would you sell a pound of liquid of? Vape juice? <sighs> THC vape juice? Mm. Promethazine? Co- codeine? You, you know, probably shouldn't say I should wait till off mic. <laughs>